Hey everybody. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Dave Kingsbury, Beta Flux. But you probably already know it's Beta Flux since you're watching this video. This uh, this next video, well, not this next video, this video, the one you're watching. The next one would be like my next one. But this is my next one because I haven't posted it yet. So, yeah. Anyway, it's been a long day. Can you tell? I had a couple of my subscribers ask me a few questions. And I tried to answer them through the text message, but it's kind of hard to explain a couple of them. So I figured I'd post a video. And uh, C130SE asked me how to create a director account. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Which is really easy to do, it's just they don't point out the shortcuts very very clear. So I'll show you what the shortcuts are and you fill out a form. You wait uh, anywhere from an hour to three days and you'll get approved or disapproved. Disapproved? And Mark Stewart Zero asked me the question about his virtual memory is having a problem with playing a game. I mean, uh, you get the pop up and the game would shut down and said there wasn't enough virtual memory. I'm going to show you how to adjust those settings for your virtual memory. And it's pretty easy to do, only a couple clicks and you're done. And um, the other question he asked me was about his wireless signal. He said it was low, you know. Um, wireless signal is, is convenient, but it's slower than a landline, of course. I mean, you know, you, all your data is going through the air. How fast can it be? There's different types of wireless LAN. You've got a B network which is 10 megabunks. You got a G network which is 54 megabunks. And they recently came out with a updated G network that runs at 180 108 megabunks. Uh, that one's a few dollars more expensive but um, but it is a little faster. The only thing is you you have to have the compatible adapters for that. And I think the best adapter out there is uh, the USB adapter that you just plug into your USB. And I'll show you a couple different routers and uh, um, what the adapters and what you need. And uh, my pick, it'd be Betaflux's pick of the week for wireless stuff. Okay, guys, once you're at your YouTube page, any one of the pages, once you're logged in, go up and click on help. It's up in the corner. That'll bring up your help center over to accounts login password there it explains the difference between the accounts and you'll find the application for a director account right here click on application and that brings up your application fill out the form you have to agree to the terms accept these terms and then hit submit application and anywhere from one hour to three days you'll have your director's account here's your typical wireless router this is a D-Link 54 megabombs 802.11g four port means you still have you can hardwire to it with the four cables this is for cable DSL I mean it's only 29 bucks so you can get a D-Link wireless G router for you have to buy the internet security suite it's uh, $114 but you get a hundred dollar rebate so I don't know if you can, it's TigerDirect.com is where I get a lot of my stuff. TigerDirect.com. I don't work for TigerDirect. I don't get credit for sending you there. It's just a good site that I use. And of course, remember, you're going to need one of these for every computer that you want hooked up to the wireless. Now, some of them are only... 54 mega bumps, the newest brand of uh, the wireless G network, 108 mega bumps. And also, when you pick out your router, you want to find one that has the 108 mega bumps. 
instead of the original G network, which was only $54. It's only $25. It's $25 for each computer that you hook up, because each computer is going to need one of these adapters. But generally, your wireless range is 100 meters, and the outdoor range is 400 meters. This one is 108 megabombs. This is a D-Link also. It's $50 with a $15 rebate. Price is going to vary, but just know that you can get it. There's the number for it. DI624S from D-Link. That's probably the best one you're going to get out there for the money. For the virtual memory, you're going to want to right click on my computer and go to properties. It's going to bring up your system property window. You want to click on the advanced tab. Right at the top it says performance. And we're going to click on settings. Click on the advanced tab again. And down near the bottom you're going to see virtual memory. It's a paging file is an area on the hard disk that window uses as if it were RAM, a random access memory. Total paging file should be one and a half times whatever memory you have installed. Now some of you might say, well how do I know how much memory I have installed? Then you go back and click on the general tab in the system properties window. General tab. And it will tell you what operating system you're running, what service pack, who's it registered to, and down near the bottom it tells you your CPU, what megahertz it's running at, and how much memory you have. Just click on change. And up near the top it shows you your total page file, which is 1536. Down near the bottom it says minimum allowed, recommended, and currently allocated. See, I have two hard drives. I got C drive and G drive. Now if you've got something like that, probably C and D or whatever. It only shows you hard drives up in here. Like C drive is my main drive that I use. Set this drive to uh, no paging file. No page file and click set. So I, I put my paging file on my secondary drive. So we're going to click on that secondary drive, set it to one and a half times your memory, your RAM, for both initial size and maximum size. Click on custom size to make that light up for you. And then click set. And then click OK and it'll ask you to restart your computer. And that's virtual memory. Um. I should write this stuff down, I'm telling you. You're killing me. You're really killing me. Well, you know, you think of a thousand things that I want to say. Thoughts run through my head all day. And so, yeah, I got to say that, I got to say that. I even have a little recorder that I talk into to save what I want to say. But, you know, when it comes time, it just doesn't work. But I'm getting better. Um... You know, how can you be nervous in front of a camera? Go figure. Uh oh. Stopping on me? No. No, you can't. Battery. I'll be back. Battery's dying. Battery. Okay.